Okay, so yeah, hey you guys, it's your girl, Vanna Black Mama. Well, I changed it from Vanna Black. This is your girl, Tasha, from Tasha's Tarot. Um, I just want to start off with um, just the weekend vibe. What's going on with the weekend with your love life, okay? So this is for a general audience, so or a general um, collective. It's for the collective. So let's get started. The first deck I'm using is Moonology Oracle Cards by Yasmin Bolin. Okay, show me what I need to see. Spirit, God, show me what I need to see when it comes to love for the weekends of the 17th through the 19th. Yeah, 17th through the 19th. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see for love, for the collective. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Hold your vision. Excuse the nails. Y'all know what's up. The city is shut down. The world is shut down. Okay, so anyways, hold your vision, okay? This is on a fixed moon. Hold your vision, okay? And under, um, on top of the deck is expect powerful change, powerful changes, okay? So the first card that popped out was look at the bigger picture. Um, what I get from that, let me lay all of them out, then I'll tell you what I get from it. Um, show the world the real you. Your dreams need a practical plan. The answers you need are coming. Okay, so I'm feeling a really great energy off of these cards because um, we're, and we're talking in the aspect of love, but I'm also... Feeling um, dreams, dreams coming true, putting a plan into perspective here. Um, that's if we're talking about finances and dreams. But if we're talking about love, I think you need to show this person the real you. Because you may... This person may be confused about you, um, and you may be confused about this person, or it could be both parties or vice versa, but um, the why I'm getting that is because the answers you need are coming. See, you only need answers if you're confused about something, so, and look at the bigger picture. Um, what you're seeing is not what you're really seeing at this point in time, Okay. So, let's go a little bit deeper. Let's go a little bit deeper with my The Romance Angels cards by Doreen Virtue. I got the smaller deck because I just liked it. But anyways, let's go for it. Um, show me look at the bigger picture. 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 Here God, show me. Please look at the bigger picture. Show me spirit. Look at the bigger picture. Thank you. Okay, look at the bigger picture here. There is passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So there is passion here for look at the bigger picture. So you may not feel that your partner has a certain type of passion for you, or they may be they may be portraying that they don't have a certain type of passion for you. There is passion. That's why our spirit is asking you to look at the bigger picture. Because if what you're seeing, as I said before, isn't what you're looking at, okay? Show me, show the world the real you. Show the world the real you. Oh, okay. Okay. Retreat. Unrequired love. 
and free yourself. See, this person may be showing you that they don't really have a lot of, or they may be portraying themselves to not have a lot of love for you, or they're trying to stay away. That's why you have this here, the answers you need are coming. They're trying to retreat and stay away because they they have a lot of passion for you and they're trying to free themselves from things that are controlling in their lives and things that are controlling them because this card says it's um, it's time to take back control of your life. So maybe they're retreating and they're holding back because there are some things in their life that they need to get um, under control before they can come forth with an offer. Your dreams need a practical plan. Show me your dreams need a practical plan. Maybe, you know, the expectations are too high and they're not practical. Okay. Oh, wow. Let's see. Okay. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. So this person really loves you. Children, your love life may be affected by children. So maybe um, he's exercising the right to retreat to get this life together with about his children of that nature. Um, maybe he wants to take care of family responsibilities before he can give you something okay wedding okay the situation involves wedding so it says practical planning maybe there is a wedding that's about to be planned here um because this is a wedding card as well retreat like a honeymoon we're going on a honeymoon so maybe there's a honeymoon and stay in in the in the background here, okay, show the world the real you. Maybe he needs to, I'm saying he because I'm a woman, but you know um, energy is neither feminine. I mean, energy can be masculine or feminine. However, maybe this man or this person is trying to free themselves from an unrequited love and retreat and start thinking about the future that they want with you with this wedding card okay and the children's card and the true love card comes out as a practical plan he's planning about this oh wow <laughs> the answers are coming come on show me the answers are coming spirit thank you show me the answers are coming spirit oh my nose is okay Oh my God. So why? Why does he want to do this? He wants to get rid of the old because he has so much passion for you. Passion as well as the past life uh, relationship. You've known each other before. You've known each other before. This is beautiful. Okay. You've known each other before. Give me another one for past life relationship spirit. Okay. Great reconciliation, y'all. It was an unrequited love in the picture. And he had to free himself from it and retreat from it so he can reconciliate, I mean, reconcile with you. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Okay. And also the finances and career may have played an issue in this relationship. He can't deny it. There's so much attraction. That's why he has to have you. There's so much attraction. If you look at this car, you can see how attracted he is to her. If you look at this car, you can see how attracted he is to her. Okay? Even right here, attraction. Attraction. Even in the unrequited love card, there's attraction there, you guys. Okay? So there is a lot of passion and a lot of attraction that's in this connection, okay? Okay, I'm going to leave that right there. So now we're going to go into 
to it with a little bit of tarot. I have several decks that I would like to use. I'm going to use the right, the white tarot cards. Okay. I got these off of eBay, you guys. I normally go into my local shop, but they are quarantined. So, yeah, I'm going to move these cards over here. Excuse me while I get, I'm at work. And I'm just, I just wanted to do a little reading. Okay. Let's go in into a little, little tarot, okay? Let's have a look at the bigger picture. Let's have a look at the bigger picture, okay? Like I said, what you're looking at is not what you're looking at. This man is working hard to try to get rid of the extra baggage because he understands that there is passion with you guys. He understands that there is a love there. He's working hard because what he's been guided to, he's been guided to, this may be a divine connection because we have the hair effect here. But he's been guided to, you guys, okay? Because of the passion and the the amount of love that this person has for you, okay? Show me, show the world the real you. 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 Spirits, so give me a card for show the world the real you, please. All right, I got two cards. And remember that we had the Elmer Carter Love, the Retreat, and the um, Free Yourself. Okay, look. He had options and choices. Okay. Seven of Cups. He was having trouble in choosing who he wanted. That's why the unrequired love was here. But he finally said, look, I just want to, I want to offer this page of pentacles to her. It's a small offering, but I do want to offer it. I'm going to free myself and I'm going to offer her this because I love her. Okay. Show me your dreams need practical plan. Okay. Look, this is wonderful. He decided to step out there and be the fool because his dreams needed a practical plan, okay? And he decided to be the king of swords and cut all the bull out. He's sick of it. I'm sick of being in a relationship I don't want to be in. I'm sick of being around somebody I don't want to be around. It's time for me to cut the bullshit out, okay? And then and when he did cut the mess out of his life, it, it kind of transformed. It, it kind of, like, he went into, a, like, a dark night of the souls. Like, he became better. The, the will of fortune changed. Okay? He, 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 it's a new beginning. It's a new beginning, a new start, a new way, a new, it's a new relationship. Okay? That I want to. I want to reconcile because I feel like it's a past life relationship. He wants that new beginning with you. And he he's no longer going to be a page. He went from the page of pentacles to the emperor. You upgraded him or he upgraded himself for you. But he felt something. And that meant something to him, okay? So he decided to let go of all the, the crap so he can be the best he can be to you. Mm. Let's get it. The answers you need are coming. The answers you need are coming. Spirit asking me a card for the answers you need are coming. The answers you need are coming. The answers you need are coming, okay? I feel like this is your energy. Um, you may be in like turmoil, howling at the moon, confused, 
in your emotions. I don't know what's going on right now, okay? Because he can't make a decision. Or he may be crying. Or in his feelings about not being able to make a decision. But he knows that he has so much attraction and love for you. That he wants to reconcile with you. Because he knows this is a past life relationship. And you are supposed to be his wife. He may not want to leave his children. Or he may want to leave his children. I mean, he or he may want to have children with you. Okay? Because he knows this is a true love. All these cards playing back. Okay? And then after that, look what we have. The Three of Cups celebration. The answers you need are coming. You're going to have a celebration. Okay? You're going to have a new beginning with this person. Overall, Ace of Pentacles blew out. He's going to offer you a pentacle. He's going to offer you everything. A new beginning. He's ready, okay? Let's see what's on the top of the deck. Queen of Swords. You're still the queen. We got a king and a queen out here on the, on the board. That's a match. He knows that you don't take any bull. That's why he had to cut the mess out. Because he knows that you take no crap at all. And third party is not what you're going to do. He knows that. Okay. He knows that. He's been bound and stuck. But he knows you have all this love, Queen of Cups, to give, okay? He's been in hermit mode thinking about the situation. And he's thinking about all those cups that he could have gave you, but he didn't. He doesn't even see the other cup. He doesn't see that you still want his cup. It's two, it's two cups over there. You see that? He doesn't even know that you want that still. Because you are the high priestess. You know all. You see all. And you are everything. And you're willing to take him back because he's been enlightened. Okay? He's did a shift. He's the hangman. He did a shift. And this, guess what? Boom, I'm done. He's ready to offer you this ten of cups. That's the that's that's the wife, the husband, and the kids. Stop playing with me. <laughs> okay, okay. Now you get your ten of cups outcome. That's beautiful. Anytime you get a ten of cups, you guys, it's beautiful, okay? Now, while my camera is still rolling. Let's get, for my Mermaids and Dolphins deck, let's get like a few oracle messages to guide us to see what exactly we need to do, okay? Okay. For the collective friendship. We build on that friendship again, you guys. It says make a date. For a play day with one, with a friend or more. So you might need to play date with your friends. Get your mind off of it. Helpful person. Again, someone wants to help you. Think of who it might be and initiate. It's two cards stuck in here. Okay. Divine magic. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. Didn't I tell you it was a divine connection uh, with that hair print card? Yes, I did. Okay, let's go. Let's go. One more message, spirits. One more message, please. One more message, spirits. One more message, please. All right, worthiness. Know that you deserve to receive all things, to receive good in all ways. You are worthy, you guys. Okay, so that's the reading for this weekend. Y'all get it in. Okay, you are worthy. Playtime at the bottom of the deck. You are worthy. Let me split the deck. A new dawn. 
Wow. The worst is behind you and positive new experiences are on the horizon. Thank you, guys. I am so grateful that you came to see me. Um, you can comment, subscribe, do what you like, or don't do what you like. I'm just here to have fun with it, and I love what I do. So anyway, peace.